Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. Daniel here with another video. We're looking at a book straight from the bookshelf. Today we are looking at the book End of Glory, War and Peace in HMS Hood, 1916 and 1941 by Bruce Taylor. Just to read from the blurb, it says There have been many fine books written on HMS Hood. The glory of the Royal Navy, the television and cinema have also taken the subject to their heart. No book, however, has ever offered the combination in depth, research and thrilling narrative to be found in The End of Glory. For 20 years, Hood symbolised the Royal Navy during the twilight years of the British Empire before, in 1941, being destroyed in seconds by the battleship Bismarck, a catastrophe that shattered the morale of the British public. To those who manned her, however, she was both a home and a fighting platform. In this new book, through official documents as well as the personal accounts and reminiscence of more than 150 crewmen, offers a vivid image of the, of the face of naval life as well as the more pitiless face of naval battle. This brilliant behind the scenes expose of a warship in peace and war not only paints an intimate picture of everyday life but deals with any number of controversial issues such as the Invergordon mutiny escapades ashore and afloat, the Christmas mutiny of 1940, and the terrible conditions on board in war. The life and death of this great battlecruiser makes for a truly compelling story. Historians, enthusiasts and the general reader alike will find this absorbing account impossible to put down. And, I mean, those last few words are really pertinent to this book because it's only the story itself. 210 pages and it was really hard to put down it covered every aspect of the hood's career um in terms of the font it's a very readable size you know it's not too large not too small um if there was any complaint with regard to size you see it was maybe on the small side but for me personally i thought it was a, a nice size um what I like about the book is there is an appendix, well, I would classify it as an appendix, but it's the Rule of Honour, so it's the list of everyone who died aboard the Hood on the 24th of May 1941. Um, it was published by Seaforth Publishing, which is an imprint of Pen and Sword, in 2012. It's 13 chapters, and it covers everything from the Hood's conception construction right the way through her early career. The Empire Cruise features in it. Um, her collision with Renown, the Invergordon Mutiny, as the uh, back mentioned. And then the books on war, so looking at where Hood was deployed on the outbreak of war. Uh, there's an account by Ted Briggs in here of how he made the signal to the fleet to say that it was to commence hostilities against Germany. It also covers things such as the bombardment of Mers al Kabir, the hunt for German raiders, Sean Horst Nice now, um, and the Slayer of the. Oh God, what was. I was going to say the Slayer of the Royal Pindy. Jervis Bay. Yeah, the hunt for um, the Slayer of the Jervis Bay. Uh, in company with the French battleship Dunkirk and then her uh, ultimate demise in action with the Bismarck. So there is a plate section in here. Um, it's maybe I don't know, eight, ten pages long. And it's pictures from Hood's career. So there's pictures of members of the crew, the construction, checking out at Ross Eith. A uh, couple of pictures from the Empire cruise. Look at the mess decks, some of the equipment on board, the guns, the two of the cats, ginger and fish cakes. Um, pictures from the 1930s alongside Gibraltar during the period of the Spanish Civil War. And then last pictures are the Bismarck, but sailing. 
to intercept the Bismarck in the last known picture recorded taken from the Prince of Wales, along with pictures of some of the survivors, well, three survivors. Um, so on the whole, it was a very informative book. It was a great introduction to the hood. I mean, there has been a lot of books written on the hood. Um, you know, some such as Flagship Hood by Anne Coles and Ted Briggs are great. Um, others, not so good. I mean, within that category, I would include Andrew Norman's book on HMS Hood, which it's detailed and it provides some nuances, but it's fairly short. Whereas this gives you various different nuances. You get sort of the reflections of people who served above the hood, and you also get the in-depth story. I mean, what comes into 200 odd pages is mind-boggling. I mean, it is a really captivating book. If, um, if you are interested in the hood, then I would highly recommend grabbing a copy and reading it. Um, it's a fantastic introductory book to the hood. Um, and one which can form the basis for further sort of reading and introduction because there's other books out there on the Invergold Mutiny, Spanish Civil War and the British efforts to um, sort of what am I trying to say? So there's other books out there on sort of, the Invergold Mutiny, the Empire Cruise, um, the Spanish Civil War and the naval efforts of not just Britain but the other navies. Um, there's also books, you know, I'm thinking here of Warren Toots, The Deadly Stroke, which covers things like Mers al Kabir. There's numerous books on The Hunt for the Bismarck, um, The Battle of the Denmark Soup, where I heard some, including some of my own. But uh, this book is a fantastic blend of all of those events. And Hood's participation in them. Um, if you've had this book, uh, if you own it, if you had the pleasure of reading it, um, I'd like to well, let me know what your thoughts are in the comments below. Um, did you enjoy it? Did you not enjoy it? Could it have been improved in any way? Um, if you enjoyed this video, it'd be grateful if you could hit a like, and um, even better if you could subscribe to the channel. And uh, we'll catch you next time for another book review. Thank you.